Yo, what's going on, you guys? KG Presents back out with another video. And today, I'm here in NBA 2K24 with a special challenge in mind. So far this season, Victor Wembanyama has been lighting up the scene as a rookie. And he's going to continue to do well this season and, of course, in the future as he continues to grow as an NBA player. Now, there's one question in mind today that I would like to accomplish, considering, as you can see by today's video title and what you're looking at on screen right now with the entire roster full of Victor Wembanyama. Can a team full of Victor Wembanyama go 82-0 in NBA 2K24? Well, we're about to find out, so stay tuned. So personally, I actually did this challenge a couple months back, and we definitely did not go 82-0. Uh, the thing is, though, I think this chance we might have a little bit more. His overall did go up by two since the last time we did that, so he's definitely going to be a little bit better scorer. Obviously, he's not really good, like, mid-range shooter, three-point shooter is all right. Uh, the playmaking is not really there, but obviously defensively, you know, in, in, on the interior he's definitely gonna be doing pretty good so we'll find out can he go a to no well we'll find out so i'm gonna show you guys at the all-star break and i will update you guys with how things are going at that point in the meantime though i mean i just want to briefly talk about victor wim yam and teammates like jeremy sochan just not passing him the ball i mean how do you like miss victor wim and yama like cutting to the rim it's not like you have like Isaiah Thomas out there, you know, you know, you know what I mean. You have seven foot four Victor Wembanyama cutting to the paint, and you don't see him. Like I don't <laughs> understand. Anyways, that's it. That's the story for another time. Uh, I'm catch you guys at the All Star break, and hopefully uh, we won every single game at that point. I'll see you then. So we're at the All Star break, and unfortunately we don't end up with a single Victor Wembanyama on the roster. So that does suck. I was hoping for maybe one, but I can totally see and understand why we didn't end up with any in the first place. At this point in the season, we're 34 and 17 so obviously the total 82 no record is out of the picture but we are still first in the western conference so that is definitely a good thing 110 points a game so we're obviously not scoring too great we're 20 and 7 at home 30 percent from three i think 60 rebounds a game wow i mean we have Tai Chi full victor rim yama so that makes sense honestly maybe it should be more but who knows uh i'm assuming to the end of the season here and hopefully uh, we continue to do well. I still want to see like what the total record is and if we can still win an NBA championship with this team, but you never know. So I'm still it towards the end of the season and I'll catch up with you guys at that point. I'll see you then. At the end of the season here, Luka is your MVP. We got Chet as your rookie of the year, Russell Westbrook six man, Mobley as your defensive player of the year, and Christian Braun as your most improved. Now, I see it makes sense why Victor didn't win Rookie of the Year because it's an entire team full of Victor. So I see all the stats are going to go down. Uh, we do end up with one, two, three victors on the first team and three on the second rookie team. So that is definitely very interesting. All the looks like he went up to an 88 overall. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for the end of the season here. I want to check out the player stats. I mean, obviously all of them are going to have similar stats here, but I'm just kind of curious. So this Victor led the wing scoring with 13 points, about 13, 12, 11 a game for most of them. In the rebound environment, about six, five. That makes sense. Assist, you know, two, three nothing much in the blocks I was kind of hoping a little bit more on the blocks department only one a game maybe I was thinking maybe like 1.5 or so and at the end season we went 59 and 23 so obviously we did not complete the 82 no challenge so I had to chalk up the Victor Weminyama 82 no challenge as a failure now I'm still going to simulate the rest of the season here because I want to see what happens between all the victors uh, we know we still did all right but the thing is though I completely understand why we didn't go 82 no if I like did this like maybe in a couple years from now when Victor's like obviously probably gonna be at least a 90 overall then there's a chance but as of right now you know, this is still rookie Victor, so we're not in that category just yet. Anyways, so we are the first seed still regardless. And I want to see if we can win the NBA Finals. We're taking on LeBron James and the Lakers in the first round. And we are going to beat them in six games, so that's good for us. We're taking on the Memphis Grizzlies in round number two. And we're going to sweep them as well. Oh, and I... And it looks like in the Western Conference Finals, we end up losing in five games to the Los Angeles Clippers, meaning the team full of Victor Weminyama has been eliminated from the playoffs. And in the NBA Finals, the Clippers will be taking home the victory over the Milwaukee Bucks. So if you all enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe for future content. If you want to introduce any other players, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. If not, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.